Welcome back, boys and girls. We're so glad you're joining us again. We're going to continue working out of our Easter path packet, and today we're going to finish up the Easter story, so we hope that you will share it with other people in your life. We're going to start, Mrs. Wallace is going to start by reading us a story. Hi, boys and girls. So we're going to be going back to our children's Bible, and we're going to open our Bible to um, page 4. 31 that says Thomas sees Jesus. After Jesus was alive again, he came to the room where his friends were. When they saw Jesus, they were very glad. Look at how happy they are to see their friend Jesus back again. But Thomas had been gone when Jesus came. Thomas' friends told him, we've seen Jesus. He is not dead. He's alive. But Thomas said, I don't believe you. Unless I touch him, I won't believe you. Here's his friends telling Thomas. Seven days later, Jesus came to visit again. This time, Thomas was there. The doors were locked, but that didn't stop Jesus. He walked right into the room. Thomas stared. He couldn't, he could see that it was Jesus. Jesus said to Thomas, look at my hands, touch my side, then believe. Thomas bowed down at Jesus' feet. My Lord and God, he said, now that Thomas knew Jesus was not dead. And the same good news still is true. Jesus is alive. All right, now Mrs. Mormon is going to read to us Breakfast on the Beach, the next story. Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day. I want to share with you Breakfast on the Beach. Starts right here with this picture. Jesus was alive again. His friends had seen him two times now. One evening, Peter said, I'm going fishing. He and his friends went out in a boat at night. All night long, they threw out their big nets, and then they pulled the nets back in, but there were no fish. They did this all night, still no fish. The sun began to rise. Peter could see someone on the shore. The man called out, hey, did you catch any fish? No, Peter shouted back. Here's the picture. Who do you think that man is out on the beach? The man said, throw out your net on the right side of the boat. You'll find some. The men did, and the nets filled with fish. Suddenly, John said to Peter, that's Jesus. How do you think they felt when they saw Jesus? I bet they were pretty excited. Peter jumped out of the boat and he swam all the way to Jesus. Isn't that crazy? He was so excited to see Jesus that he swam all the way to the shore. Everyone else rowed the boats to shore, dragging the heavy nets full of fish. When they got to the shore, Jesus had fish and bread already cooked for them to eat. Later, Jesus talked to Peter. Before Jesus had died, Peter had told people that he didn't know Jesus. He even said he'd never met him before. Peter had been very, very sorry for his words. Jesus wanted Peter to know that he was forgiven. Here's a picture of them walking together on the beach. Jesus told Peter about his good plan for him. Jesus told Peter, be like a shepherd. Help people learn about me and follow me. He told Peter this three times. It must have been pretty important if he said that to Peter three times. Jesus still loved Peter. I'm going to let Mrs. Holstein read the next part of the story called The Ascension. All right, boys and girls, we're going to pick up right here with The Ascension. Because Jesus visited his friends for 40 more days. Boys and girls, do you hear my dog barking? <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> Sorry, he's interrupting us, isn't he? 
Jesus told them, wait in Jerusalem. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to help them. When it was time for Jesus to return to heaven, he walked with his friends to a mountain. On that mountain, Jesus told his friends, remember, I am always with you. After I have gone back to heaven, tell people everywhere the good news that I love them. Help them to believe in me and obey the things I taught you. Jesus talking to his friends. Then Jesus began to rise up into the sky. His friends were surprised. Jesus went up and up until he was in a cloud. I think that would be pretty surprising too. His friends couldn't see Jesus anymore. There he is going up into the cloud. Suddenly, two angels were there. The angel said, why are you standing here looking into the sky? Jesus will come back someday, just as you saw him go. Those are angels. Jesus' friends were amazed and glad Jesus would come back someday. I suppose they're all talking about what they had just seen. They had just seen Jesus go up into the heavens. So our project today is all about the ascension and Jesus going up into the heavens. We have a blue cloud. I suppose that's like heaven. And Jesus is down here. See, I colored Jesus nice and bright so we could see him. You can color your, your Jesus at home too. You attach this string and on the back here, I have a little tab I'm gonna pull. And watch, this is just what the people saw. They saw Jesus going up and up and up right into the heavens. So Mrs. Wallace is going to walk you through how to make this ascension project so you can tell this story too. Thanks, Mrs. Holstein. All right, so your project in your packet looks like this, the staple together. We're going to take, have one of your parents help you take the staple off and pull those pieces off for you. And here's our cloud. And we're gonna cut this out just like we did um, our leaf project uh, when we did our palm leaf. And so you're gonna take your scissors, remember to put your thumb in this hole and put as many fingers as you can in this part so we can open and shut, open and shut. Now, I know some of my friends in my class, um, they might not, they might need a little help. So you can ask an older brother, sister, or mom and dad to help you cut, to be sure to cut this one around the lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut mine out and follow my cloud. I'm starting here and I'm holding my paper with this hand and cutting with this hand. And I'm cutting, that's a nice big black line to see where to, where to cut. Sometimes I cut a little bit on the black line. That's okay. Um, as long as we get around. Boys, my class, do you remember that we made the big white clouds in our class? Our, uh, when we were talking about the story of Noah and the ark, and we um, cut out our own clouds, and they're still in our windows in our classroom with our rainbows. So go ahead and cut that out. Just like that. Now, Miss Holstein had a little, so save your, this piece right here, we're gonna use that in a second, but your cloud here, this also might be something some of you might need help with. You're going to kind of fold it in half. If you have to fold it all the way, um, you can do that. And then we're gonna take our scissors and cut a little slit right in there. Not all the way through, maybe about as big as your one clip of your scissors. And you open it up so you see you have a little, Oh, right there in the middle. So I'm going to take a piece of this scrap and I'm going to make a little square out of that. So this way, I did about two cuts that way and two cuts that way. Now we didn't give you guys a stapler, but staples will probably work the best for holding our ribbon onto this. So if you have a stapler, that would work really well. You can try the glue, but um, 
it may not hold as well. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and again, you might have to have some help with this. Have a staple right there. Put that onto the ribbon, and then I'm going to put that inside. Let's see my cloud. The ribbon goes in first here like this so that I have this on the back and can pull up and down. It'll work a little bit better when Jesus is on there. And then this side, now you'll have, you can, you can either leave Jesus just like this, um, color him and leave him just like this, or you can have someone help you cut him out and put him on here and staple it right on there. And there we go. And then I can make Jesus ascend in the clouds to go home to be with his father to build a place for us in heaven. There you go. All right. I'm going to sing a couple songs with you guys, boys and girls. I know that I've, we've, I've done those songs once for you, but some of you might not remember how they go. So if you could find your palm leaf, we'll do that one first. And do you guys remember how that goes? If you kind of gently go back and forth, we can sing, Hosanna, Hosanna, the little children sing. Hosanna, Hosanna, for Jesus is the King. I hope that you guys have done this at home and maybe had your parents do it with you or your brothers and sisters, because it's, it's really fun to do. I also want to remind you of our other song that goes like this. So you have to make your arms big, kind of out like a big tummy, and you're going to sing, ho, 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 Hosanna, ha, ha, hallelujah, he, 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 he loves me. I've got the joy of the Lord. And then we have one other song that we learned on our last video was I Wub a Rabbit. So, oh, I Wub a Rabbit, a quazy, quazy rabbit. Hop, hop, bunny, bunny, hop, hop, bunny, bunny, hop, 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 hop. Pop. Remember, he likes his carrot, so pull out that carrot and dust it off. He sure loves carrots, those crazy, crazy carrots. Choo, choo, bunny, bunny, choo, choo, bunny, bunny, choo, 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 choo. And when I go to Betty Bye, I kiss he and he kiss I. And if he's bad and such and such, he has to sweep in the rabbit hutch. Oh, I wub a rabbit, a quazy, quazy rabbit. Hop, hop, bunny, bunny, hop, hop, bunny, bunny, hop, 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 hop. Very good. Friends, thank you so much for joining us again today for singing songs with us and learning how to do your art projects. We hope you're having fun at home with your parents and that you're learning that you can learn anywhere. You can learn at school or you can learn at home. So we're so glad you joined us. Share pictures with us on Facebook if you can, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.